Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a press E to open a shop. So first of all, we're going to actually need our brick to uh, you know, press E with. Now, I'm just going to have a simple brick. Yours can be whatever you want. I don't really care. This is just for demonstration purposes. So, I'm just going to get a solid cube. And I'm just going to name this our shop block. So, you want to remember this name because it's really important. And if you can't find explore and properties for some reason, just go to the view tab and should be under there which is yeah that's cool they're right there so under the shop block I'm gonna go into the properties I'm going to make it anchored and that's all I need to do so the next thing we want to do is go to the block and under explore uh, click on the thing click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt so just like this and boom we've got a proximity prompt so let's rename the proximity prompt open shop and then we can customize it so go into the properties of it and then the action is going to be open yeah, it's going to be open it's going to be enabled everything uh, xbox is going to be x i'm going to hold duration for two seconds keyboard e Let's make the activation distance 25. The object is shop because we want to open up the shop. And that should be the main ones. There's also requires line of sight. You can also turn that off as it's not exactly needed. And cool, this is our block that uh, will show the E screen to open up our GUI. So next thing we need to do is actually make our GUI. So go back to explore and under here there should be a starter GUI. Click the plus and enter in a screen GUI. We can rename the screen GUI to our shop. Oh, that's shop. Let's rename that to shop. And then shop, you can click the plus and enter in a frame. If you already got uh, your shop, you can skip to um, this time on the screen right now. But if you don't, um, I'm not gonna be making one. I'm just gonna make a demonstration one because your shop is your thing. So I'm going to have a frame, and under the frame I'm going to have a text label, which I'm going to rename to title. And then I'm just going to stretch this all the way across. I'm going to leave some room for an X button. And then I'm going to go down to the properties. And then I'm going to make a bold. Let's put the text to shop. Oh. And let's make uh, the text scaled, and that will be my shop. Next thing I'm going to do is click the plus, enter in a text button, and this will be our exit button. So I'm just going to make it 53, sure, why not? And I'm going to rename it to exit, and then I'm just going to make the background red. I'm going to scroll down here, let's make the text white. And make it bold, and let's name it a big X, text scaled. That's our exit button. I'm just going to click the plus, enter in a local script, and then just write script.parent.mouse button. I want to click colon connect function. And I'm going to go down the line and I'm just going to write script.parent.parent.visible equals to false. And that's it. That's the exit button. And then I'm just gonna put in some uh, demonstration buttons that these buttons don't actually do anything. I'm just trying to make it look like a shop, okay? Boom, boom, I have lots of buttons. Also add some images because a good shop always has images. So boom, lots of images. And yeah, that's our shop. Now we just need one more final code so that we can connect the uh, E, press E to open the shop. So under the shop GUI, click the plus and enter in a local script. Let's name the local script to open shop. And now you can write what I write. So I'm just gonna scroll in a lot. And then local GUI equals to game dot workspace dot shop block dot 
open shop. So just remember that the shop block name should match up with the shop block in your workspace. And then go down to the lines and then write GUI dot triggered colon colon connect function and then in between uh, these two lines we're just going to write local shop equals to script dot parent dot frame uh, this frame should match up with the frame of your shop and then we're just going to go down the line and then we're going to write shop well, not shop not shared shop dot visible equals to true and then we're just going to make the uh, frame visible and I'm going to press play and we can go test it out okay so I just load in our boxes right here and you can see we can open it from all the way here because we have our activation distance on 25 uh, of course if you don't want it this close then you can uh, change the activation distance to lower I'm going to go here and say shop and you can open it I'm just going to hold E it's going to have two seconds and then the shop comes out and then we coded a exit button so if you press that the shop closes I'm just going to do it one more time shop opens shop close so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and share uh, we are like super close to 300 subscribers so that is just epic anyways thanks for watching bye uh, tell me down in the comments below if you want me to stream. Uh, I know it's kind of a weird question, um, but yeah, I kind of want to do like a stream where basically you guys put your like ideas in the chat and I'll make them on a stream. Probably be like two to three hour stream. Yeah, just tell me in the comments below. Bye.